Tumblr. I'm in full support of artists not doing the thing that made them famous and instead drawing whatever niche things makes them happy. Yeah. Tornado hungry. Feed a 200 kilogram bag of glitter. Do it. I'm at that stage of hyperfixation where I can make almost every song I listen to about my blorbos and my scrunklies. Yeah. Reblog if you think it's important to learn about asexuality and sex education. There's no URL because God made this post. Yeah. Just past a group of teenage girls walking downtown, wearing cargo pants and platform Crocs. Nature really is healing. Deletes personal post. Rule number one of Tumblr. Never show weakness. Unless it's for the bit. Unless it's for the bit. What if every time you do something random and surprising, like passing a test without studying or catching something thrown at you without looking, it's because your body and mind got a nat 20 on the save roll? What if? What, what, if, what if we kissed on the dinosaur's kissing statue? Well, you'd probably get hit by a car, but such is the risk of love. Hey, he's my Blorbo, and I get to be annoying about him online. Hey, reblog if boobs are pretty cool. Oh yeah, one of my favorite birds. No, 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 like, like tits. This? No, no, like hooters. Ah, you mean this? You know, the fun part about having timestamps enabled is that I can see immediately that the original post was published in like 2016 and the entirety of the bird conversation was four days ago. Another heavy-handed symbolism moment. My mom has a potted sunflower in the kitchen. Because it is a sunflower, it keeps turning towards the light from the window. My mother keeps rotating it so it faces inward because she wants to see its beautiful petals and have it really brighten up the space. The sunflower is visibly wilting. Uh, are you going to tell her or her master's degree is in biology? I extend my hand like a mob boss and allow you to kiss my ring. But when you lean closer, you see it's one of those glow-in-the-dark spider rings you win at arcades. Pretends to kiss it, but I eat the spider very discreetly, but you notice anyway because my mouth is glowing from the inside. You disrespect me and eat my spooky spider ring, which costs me 50 tickets at Funtime Arcade and Pizzeria. Vinny, Andy, whatever, hit it with a sticky hand. Instead of yelling boo this Halloween, let's yell something even scarier. Like, commitment! <gasps> We're student loans! <gasps> well, this ended up being much shorter than I thought it would. Andy! Yeah. Let's do the thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>